Hey there, Subnauticans. Cougar here, back with more mods showcases for the amazing underwater survival game, Subnautica. Today we're looking at a bunch of different new mods. We've got the more Seamoth modules from Ahmed Khan. We've got the PDA Pause mod from Newman55. The Cyclops Nuclear Power and the Vehicle Module Fabricator from Prime Sonic. Uh, also the Safe Autosave mod running from Burke 2578 Let us start with the, the simple ones, the PDA Pause. It just pauses the game in the background while your PDA is pulled up. Allows you to not have to worry about losing oxygen or food or water while the PDA is open. This will allow you to review data bank entries or do whatever you need to do in your inventory without worrying about drowning or being attacked by predators or losing your food and water. It's also just a good way to, to have the game paused. It's, you know, there isn't a pause button. In Subnautica, you have to hit escape, so this will let you pause and still be immersed in the world itself. Uh, so, another thing that I may be able to demonstrate here, or I may not, is the safe autosave. A lot of people have asked for the ability to autosave the game in Subnautica. Currently, you can only manually save. So, this new mod from Burke2578 will set it up so that the game autosaves for you anytime you enter or exit your base or cyclops and it operates on a cooldown so it's not constantly overwriting the saves. Let's see if uh, my cooldown has expired and I get a save as I board. No. We're, we're still we're still in the cooldown period here uh, for my autosave because I had just exited the cyclops before I started the uh, recording. So it didn't give us the save there, but it will autosave for you, and you can tweak those settings in the uh, settings file for the mod, whether it saves on exit or only on entrance or on both exit and entrance. Uh, you can also tweak that cooldown period so that it saves more frequently if you're entering or exiting the base a lot, or less frequently uh, if you find that it's, if you feel like it's saving too much. Now quickly let's look at the vehicle module fabricator from Prime Sonic. You can now build this on board your Cyclops Normally these vehicle uh, modules are only built in a moon pool, but now you can build up modules for the Cyclops or the Prawn Suit or the Seamoth here on board your Cyclops. You don't have to have a separate moon pool to make that happen. One of the modules that has been added also by Prime Sonic is the, if I go over here, show you the nuclear battery module for the Cyclops. Now, yes, it takes, uh, it is quite hefty requirements here to actually craft this. You need a fully built reactor rod. You need a loot, two times lubricant, two times enamel glass, computer chip, wiring kit, and a plastic ingot. That's great that it, it requires so much uh, stuff to make because it is extremely powerful. Now, I've already crafted one. If we go back here to the Cyclops upgrades panel, you'll see that the Cyclops nuclear battery module provides us with 6,000 energy units per nuclear battery module. Now that is enough to fully recharge all your power cells. Each of these power cells holds 1,000 units, uh, excuse me, the ion power cells, which I have mostly, contain uh, 1,000 units of power. So you could have this fully stocked with six ion power cells and this nuclear battery module would fully recharge all six of those ion power modules. Now I also have, we also looked at in the, the last episode of my modded playthrough, the solar power upgrade for the Cyclops. That is also extremely powerful, but it's not gonna be a lot of use to you down here at depth. See here in the Lost River zone, here in the Tree Cove, we are in between the really hot zones where you'd be taking advantage of the thermal power upgrade, the thermal recharge, and the solar power upgrade, which is only gonna work up near the surface. So the nuclear power module is great for these kinds of transition zones also wanted to look at the Seamoth upgrades 
given to us by Ahmed Khan. We can now build a Seamoth depth module Mark IV that will take us down to 1300 meters depth, or a Seamoth depth module Mark V, which will take us down to 1700 meters depth. We can also now build a Seamoth thermal reactor, which will allow your Seamoth to recharge itself in hot zones, just like the Prawn Suit and the Cyclops thermal reactor modules do. Now, I've already, again, built both the Seamoth module Mark IV to take us down to 1300 meters depth and the Seamoth thermal reactor. So I will go ahead and install those. And just to prove that they actually work, I will now take the Seamoth down below 900 meters. So we're at 918 meters depth. Obviously, this module is working. You can see up there at the top of the screen, our max depth with the Mark IV module is 1,300 meters. Now, I think that the water down here is warm enough that it is already, the thermal reactor module is already recharging the Seamoth's power cell. You can see that we're not losing any power at all as we drive around here. Now, I know we haven't been driving very long, but we're not seeing it budge. So I think that the thermal reactor module is already working. And we are just steady at 100% power on the Seamoth down here in this hotter zone. Down at 50 degrees centigrade. But I think this is going to be a quick showcase because all these mods are pretty easy to explain and demonstrate. The only one that you didn't actually get to see in action is the safe autosave mod because it was still on cooldown from when it had autosaved from me exiting the Cyclops before starting the video. But you can take my word for it, it does work. I have seen it work, I have experienced it working. on entering and exiting the Cyclops, it did give me a save. Let's just see if it's been long enough now that we get that the save message just to fully demonstrate that it works. Well, auto saving. See in the upper left hand corner? Safe auto save saving. Okay? And it for some reason saved times two. I'm not sure why that happened, but there you go. It did auto-save, and if I were to quit out of the game right now, and it's auto-saving again. That should still be on cooldown. I'm not sure why it just auto-saved again, but the auto-save is working. So there you have it, guys. We looked at more Seamoth modules and the... Uh, what was the other one from Ahmed Khan? I think that was it. More Seamoth modules from Ahmed Khan. We had the PDA pause from Newman55, the Cyclops nuclear power and the vehicle mod fabricator from Prime Sonic, and the Cyclops... That's it. That's it. All right, and we talked a little bit about the autosave and the... Seamoth, excuse me, the Cyclops solar module upgrade, which I showcased a little bit in the last episode of my modded playthrough. So there you have it, guys. Some new mods to check out for the Amazing Underwater Survival game. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the mod showcases, and I'll be doing more as the mods warrant it. Thank you very much, modders, as always, for creating these wonderful mods, and everybody else, stay safe, stay dry.